Welcome back to Book of Dawn, Ayath Academy, tormented by gnomes, your game master, once more with you after the break. Joined also after the break by Crowan, who has survived his conflict with the spirits themselves in order to make his way across space and time to join us. <laughs> Welcome, Crowan. How are things? <laughs> that is a pretty accurate uh, depiction of what happened. Yes, indeed. Uh, but it's been a day, but just glad to, you know, be back finally and play D&D. So, Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah, super happy to have you here. Um, when last we left our... And chat has given you inspiration for de, for defeating the giant metal bird. Uh, when nice. last we left our heroes, they were about to leave Tarsal Moor's vault after having a confrontation with the infernal Anachronis, who threatened them, threatening to use Tarsal Moor to do what they had not yet delivered on. Garnet was able to whisper to him that she had a plan to take care of their previous business. But our children, our students were left then to parse through the various notes and experiments of the mysterious ancient mage. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, that is a stream loose card, a Despair's Herald card, Feast of Sorrows. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll handle that in a moment, shall we? <laughs> Anyways, our heroes were about to. They decided not to go poke Tarsal Moore and uh, wake him up or mess with him if he's already awake. They decided instead to depart. Now, uh, Renan has been quiet this entire time, tra uh, traumatized slash recovering slash biting his tongue after his confrontation with Garnet. But I do want to give him the opportunity. To at least poke one of the many things down here. Um, I'd like to give you the chance to either investigate one of the areas of... Uh, let me make sure that you're looking at the right area here, my friend. Either investigate one of the areas of the summoning chamber. Or mm -hmm. investigate one of the areas of the laboratory. Or of the library. Okay. Uh, I think... Renan would probably go for library and if didn't get specific direction or anything from yield uh, head serpent then mm -hmm. um, would probably just do just general check on just whatever's there. Okay, so I will go ahead and reveal to you that a hey, you have been given a treasure by the chat. So oh. let me grab my treasure tables because it looks like you're finding some loot down here as well. You'd think I'd learn at this point to always have the treasure <laughs> book with me, but no, no, I gotta put it back on the shelf and clean up the entire office every single time. Uh, all right, so for posterity, I'm gonna give you a chance to look around the room and know what's in each area because each area has different information. Okay. Um, this area is all infernal knowledge and lore. Mm. This area is wizard spells and arcane theory and spell matrices. This area mm -hmm. is constructs and animating objects. And this area down here, this whole section is necromancy and souls. Uh, each of Ooh. several of the areas have like a table with notes. So you can mm. either look through the notes on the table or you can go through the books in the area. So which of those would you like to search? Oh, that's a good question. I think top left infernals probably would be what, uh, what catches Renan's attention most right now. Um, and would look on the, the shelves, I guess, for books. Okay. Uh, while you're here, Athelor, roll one d100 for me, please. And no, it's not because anybody said a bad word. <laughs> for once. For once. 90. Oh. All right. Uh, Garnet, roll 4d6 for me, please. Oh, wow. What did I do? Oh, fuck, that's really good. Is that good or bad? 18. <laughs> Casting an offensive spell at me, I imagine. <laughs> no, uh, our heroes have found, lying around, let's say in the summoning room, 180 gold pieces. Hmm. Should we split that four ways? That's your call. <laughs> Party, should we split that four ways? The easiest, since it wasn't listed on the... It's not like I could say, Garnet, you found this in this area because chat added it in, so maybe we split it four ways to avoid uh, any sleight of hand shenanigans. <laughs> oh, sure. those 45 each? 45 each, yep. Cool. All right. And uh, section 4D...
Yo, cat is you, wild now. I was going to say, <laughs> who's you that? Him? That's, that's mine. That's, that's, <laughs> that's Finn. Uter that's Mr. Meowler. Pancake. No, oh. Udermel is being quiet and well behaved. But my big orange cat is just out there caterwauling. That's so cute. I love it. I hope it's okay. Okay. Garnet, did you scoop the notes on the table? So from the library with the... The stuff. Yeah. Okay, you scooped those. Yeah, I think I took everything I read. Okay, because uh, there was more on that table. Did you take the stuff you hadn't read, or did you only take the stuff you read? Was it in a pile or scattered? It was in a pile. It was kind of scattered. It wasn't like in a neat pile. It was kind of scattered around a little bit. I'd probably take whatever a pile associated. With okay, uh, there are two more notes. Uh, Tarselmore's notes. Please write that down so you can peruse that later and so I don't forget about it. Uh, for our friend Renan, please give me... Uh, are you looking for anything specific? Because there's infernal lore and there's infernal spells here. There's all sorts of stuff. Uh, oh, infernal spells. Uh, infernal lore. I think it would probably be lore on uh, Cetheus Herald and I guess we know that uh, Anachronous isn't infernal, right? But I don't think Renan knows that, so Renan would try mm -hmm. to look and see if there's something there. Okay, roll an investigation check for me to search through for records on that. Investigation. This might be bad. A it is indeed bad. A four. four. <laughs> the metal bird. Use the metal bird. You did get the metal bird inspiration from chat spending the channel points. Oh, true. Yeah, let's just let's get that out of the way. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. So you have found a series of scrolls bound in the hide of some enormous serpent. Uh, and tied with intricate ribbons in knots that are very difficult to untie, though you seem to immediately understand how to do so. Uh, they are written in Infernal, and they are written in a cipher. So not only, like, Eyes of the Runekeeper only gets you so far. Does it give you the meaning? I think we've covered this before. Like, not only uh, does it... Does it break codes? Uh, Rise of the Runekeeper, you can read all writing. Uh, okay, that's not helpful, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, well, you can add the Zethian texts to your inventory if you want. You can just add them and parse them later if you'd like to do so. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Short lemon saying those in your hands is going to go over swimmingly. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you were also looking for accounts of the Herald, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have found a poem. Hmm. A poem, a lamentation, uh, mourning the fall of <laughs> the, uh, I think my cat just subscribed to the channel, Pancake Man 800. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, well, that's the least you can do for all that noise you're making. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it is the lament for the fall, and it's written in the style of an old saga, and it's a lament for the fall of a great king who met a, a messenger of bitter tidings who brought about the downfall of his entire bloodline. I have more details on this that I can share with you later, but that's the, uh, that's the short version. Okay. Cool. And as for Anachronous, uh, math a lot of math it's just like this huge book of it's not even like an algebra textbook it's just like a huge list of of formulas and calculations some huge one of those math problems they offer like a million dollar prize to solve that no one's ever been able to solve gotcha. that kind of stuff yeah renan hasn't been going to school for that long so especially gets uh, confused by and hates math so this is spending too much time there relatable <laughs> okay <sighs> Also, one thing I'm going to note is that almost all of the information in this, you know how in IOTH Academy's libraries, they go to a, a great deal to avoid writing down the true names of the Infernals so students don't say their names and summon them by accident? Uh, yeah. They're just written here in plain text. Okay. Yeah. This, right. this, this is the forbidden section. Absolutely. 
I like uh, to think the uh, the Iron Book is a signed edition by Uzel. <laughs> Literally, just like they, they're rolling by, and he just pokes his fingernail in each one of them to sign them. <laughs> Also, uh, just a small side note, I think, for, with Renan mm -hmm. being, you know, pretty quiet throughout, uh, walking with everybody, checking out the whole place, mm -hmm. would definitely, very obviously, keep his eyes just on Garnet and what Garnet's doing, mm -hmm. like, more than usual. She had a whispered conversation with the mechanical librarian that spoke in the voice of Anachronis. Okay. Okay. And looked at some books. And looked at some books. Does... <laughs> Uh, and picked up a strange book that was 100% ink. Its pages were all covered with ink. And Ariana blurted out that she thought it might be like a reverse mirror book. Mm, okay. Are, are, are our heroes prepared to depart Tarsal Moore's vault? I think okay. at the door, yeah, we're doing the mage hand to like scoop out some scoop the goop. soul plasm. And aside from that, yeah. Uh, right. To right. escape the vault, uh, are we... We're just leaving. How are we dealing with this door? I didn't close it again. How are you dealing with the door? Oh, because the door's like fully open. It raised up into the ceiling when the uh, puzzle was bypassed. <laughs> can't like... Ugh. Can't just turn the key back to... Uh, Roll close. investigation, please. Or if anyone's proficient with Tinker's tools or masonry tools, I would allow that as well. An 11. Can I, can I barter with sculptor's tools and I took artifice? I would allow that. If you beat a 17, your offer is accepted. Uh, two 17s. All right, so from this side, it is possible to lower the door. And the door lowers slowly enough that you could activate it, and then run under the gap as it oh, thud. Cool. Is that what Let's you'd like do to do? That. I think we should definitely be closing this door. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a good idea. Wait, I have an idea. How about... Well, I, I mean, at, well, Athelor, you know how to misty step, right? Yeah, Garnet Gar Gar and I can... Is that recharged? Because you already did that once today. Yes, but I have spell slots. Ah, okay, yeah. So I think just in case, um, um, maybe we should it. send. Yeah, you you trigger it. The three of us will walk outside, and then just in case you get stuck behind the door, then you can see step out. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. Okay. I thought tells him to go. Uh. And interacts with the panel in whatever way his artificer training would tell him, I think this is what's going to lower it. You basically undo the th the four keys from the backside, turning them like the, the reverse mechanisms mm. in the right order. And that lowers the whole... Book scary. Also, uh, one of you gets an infernal cookbook to uh, serving mortals. Can I have it? <laughs> uh, that was a treasure I mean, from chat. Whoever's gonna doesn't, cook. Whoever uh, doesn't want it, and I'll I'll have it. I will leave that particular piece of incriminating evidence at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Garnet, I've got plenty of that, thank you. Garnet will be keeping uh, serving mortals the easy and nutritious serving, way. Serving mortals, L's. And then I still have the magic aura on the door. Um going on all right that's going to be floating at the back of your head as you obscure the hole you carved in the door of tarselmore's vault with the power of void magic disguising it as fey pixie magic attempting to lay the breach of tarselmore's vault at the hands of the fairy queen and her minions maybe starting shit shouldn't have started shit <laughs> there is a quiet moment uh, at floor were you misty stepping through the door once it closes or were you just holding that in reserve as backup it was just in case I didn't okay. make it no all of you are able to move pretty easily through the door to the other side with a strange remember that d4 I made you roll earlier Ariana that was to see if the fey magic in this area was going to make that iron book explode into sparks and zap you again which it wasn't but it will if you stick around down here <laughs> gonna keep on moving okay 
And so our heroes depart Tarselmore's vault, leaving behind... Is my iron cross still outside the door? Yes, it has not been moved. Okay. I haven't been gone down here that long, despite the fact that it's been like three episodes. <laughs> Time is a funny thing, isn't it? <laughs> when you're actually right. fleeting. The day is drawing to a close as you emerge in the bowels of Tarselmore Hall with a lot of stuff you should absolutely not have. Totally. Found uh, by accident. How are you getting all of this stuff back to your dorm rooms? Uh, I got one spell slot remaining. Mm -hmm. And it's your favorite one. Oh, I love this spell <laughs> so <laughs> much. Game I'm hey, such a fan of Pass Without Trace. <laughs> How do you do, fellow Pass Without Trace gamers? <laughs> All right. So as our students in the basement of the Magical Academy, with books full, just with the names of d evil gods written upon them, recipes for, for cannibalism, uh, and just... Oh, wait. Yeah, serving mortals. Oh, I thought you meant serving food to mortals. Not that's serving uh, sure. That's what you thought when you picked up that book too. You <laughs> open it and it starts showing you where the finest cuts are and how to cook baby back ribs. Uh, for, for a good amount of this literature, I have gnomes. Mm -hmm. It's in leaf page form, so mm -hmm. Apple's going to try and stow it within his book of Ioth's runes, so mm -hmm. that. He looks more like he's not carrying as much looted literature. Mm -hmm. there, there, there's some concealed, like, uh, the correspondences and the Tarsal Morian notes. Okay. Just like it's your, your homework, basically, stuffed in there in the lining. Yes. All right. Now, given that Garnet has cast the spell whose name should not be mentioned, I would like all of you to please roll stealth checks at plus 10. <laughs> I hate it Will here. We need a lucky <laughs> dash today. <laughs> also clapped. Oh, important. Yeah, I think that one's going to do, gamers. I think it's going to do. <laughs> I think it's still going to be fine. All right. Well, a 15 for you to sneak back. Yeah, unfortunately, that is going to get past, uh, past <laughs> everybody. There's a 29 pass. No, it's a 29. <laughs> 28, maybe? It's a little lower. I don't know if that one's uh, yeah, 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 28 might not be high enough. I'm too close. Or actually just invisible going through the hallways. So they're invisibility cloaked. <laughs> all right. So you all, as the sun sets off in the deserts of the west and its red light parses through the golden sphere surrounding Ioth Academy, you make your way back before dinner time to your dorm to stash your ill-gotten goods. Um, Ariana, could I have one of those containers of the... Solely stuff. Oh, sure. Which one? The the goblet? The the ten pound one or the vial? I will take the ten pound one off your hands as a uh, wouldn't want you to be carrying even more heavy stuff. He said sure. chivalrously. <laughs> does does can Ariana still read thoughts? Yes. So what is Athor actually thinking about this? Might oh. fuck us up a couple of times. Cool stuff. <laughs> Athelor is thinking, might fuck this up a couple times. <laughs> yeah, Therefore, quantity will gladly rules. hand over the, the larger <laughs> of the vial. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. Let me know if I can help. Will do. Oh, XP. 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 Plus one XP. The evening is yours. Obviously, you got to make it to dinner at some point, but you've got a whole bunch of contraband to go over uh, and a long weekend. However, I must point out that the reason it's a long weekend, the way that the calendar of Anakra works is that you have two weeks and then a holiday that isn't considered to be part of like the week at all. It's completely separate. So you get a long weekend every two weeks. Uh, but each holiday has a special dedication. And given that we are in the first month of summer, the first holiday that's coming up in two days is the High Feast of Zalar. What do we do for that? Two things we love. Food and that Bernie guy. 
Well, the school officially doesn't do anything. Brontha has a huge religious festival that celebrates Kalor, the prophet who saved, who invoked the fire of Zalar. Um, they would normally celebrate your birth and the miracle that saved their city again. Uh, there'd be feasts, there'd be parades, there would be uh, dancing, like fire ceremonies, uh, sacrifices. So oh, Cyrus and Ruby will dinner. Cyrus and Ruby will absolutely be celebrating the traditional way, and you would 100 percent be invited. Yay! I would attend. That's in two days. So, okay. <laughs> uh, what would you like to do until then? You have a little bit of time. Uh, I think once we're putting stuff away, <clears throat> Renan would, uh, I assume, go back with Athelor to their room. Mm -hmm. I think Renan would bring up... Um, Athelor, do you think that was, um, uh, how do they say, uh, out of pocket, uh, what, <laughs> I, what I did? Uh, this is going to sound much more incriminating, but which part? Oh, um, the whole, um, well, Garnet was hiding things, and I cast a spell to try to figure out, uh, what she was hiding, and then that, there was, there was a whole thing. You were, like, kind of there in the area. Might have heard mm -hmm. some of it. Have you heard, in your bookish beginnings, the phrase, trust goes both ways? Uh, yes, I'm familiar with the concept. I feel like generating trust is going to take a little bit longer if you, uh, attempt to force things out of people. Hmm. I suppose, I, I guess I feel like it's kind of impossible. Maybe it's not. Maybe. Though, uh, I don't think you particularly helped your case there no definitely not but do you understand like it do you get I mean, it i suppose i get it but i still don't think it was smart you know okay like yeah. sometimes i want to hit someone but i don't it's part of living in a society rather than a book sometimes we have to just hold back our urges and desires and see them contemplation for a while didn't you like hit someone before here? I feel like I remember that. Well, you There's remember few... that? Oh shit, it's that thing again. Um, kind of that memory of a memory thing. Yeah. I mean, Christ challenged me to a duel. Oh. I, I didn't hit him until he challenged me. Oh, that's more so understandable, the, I guess. The grounds of taboo and I confrontation were broken by him first. Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, hmm. Yeah. We well, need to find a way to try and hide all this stuff. Yeah. How much stuff does Athelor have, actually? Uh, Athelor has... Uh, one sec. Checking the inventory. <laughs> um, we have a manual of golems, uh, an abyssal rune book, a lot of scrolls of mirror magic. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of notes, but those are leaf paper, so they're pretty easily hidden within other books. Mm -hmm. uh, a small silver cage and a jug of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> soul goo. Glowing ectoplasm. <laughs> yeah, do you have, like, places that you stash things around here? Is I mean, that uh, not all this can, you know, fit under the under the bed frame kind of thing? I mean, we still have the bag of holding where we have uh, most of Iol's cash, or some of Iol's cash. Yeah, a good chunk of it. Well, maybe that, maybe that works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it'd be a good start, at least, for stowing. Yeah, that's true. We'll figure it out later. A lot of stuff. That was, that was crazy. There was a lot of, a lot of things there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we should ask if the girls want to store anything in the bag. Oh, that's true. Yeah, let's do it. You you can be the one asking, though. I extend my mind. Knock, knock, Ariana. 
Hello? Like in, in terms of a mechanics of telepathy here, what I'm trying to do to get past the person you can see is casting detect thoughts, and then when I detect Ariana's thoughts, using that as like a faux sight to... For the purposes of this scene, I'm going to allow that. <laughs> huh. Ring ring. Uh, hey, we were just wondering if uh, any of that super illegal stuff you wanted to uh, store in the bag of holding, so that it's not just out and about in the room. Oh, can I respond to you? Yes. Or are you talking to me? For the next couple of minutes, at least. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, wait, hmm. That's a great question. Hey, Garnet, do you have anything that you want to store in the uh, bag of holding? Oh, uh, who's calling? Oh, Athelor. Hello, it's Athelor. Oh, oh, Athelor. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I'm okay, I have my own stash, but thank you. Uh, I think we're okay. But okay. speaking of uh, stuff, I actually... um. I found something that I thought you might like. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I figured your hands were kind of full, though, carrying stuff around to get back up to the room. But if you have a second sometime this weekend, I'd, I'd like to show you. Sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll pop by after dinner. Sure. See awesome. you then. Bye-bye. This is me leaving the mind place. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, bye! <laughs> what conversation, if any, did Athelor's mental missive interrupt between Garnet and Ariana? If any. Um, I think... Nothing yet, but Ariana would definitely be waiting to find a moment where Garnet was, like, settled, sort of. To like talk to her about what happened in the vault. Um, she probably just is gonna want to go put the stuff in the study office. So she's probably kind of gonna walk you to the room, drop you off. But if you want to talk, she'll stay, or not. If I think I think Ariana would wait. I feel like she would like still be if she's still able to hear thoughts. I feel like she could probably hear that like. Garnet is like focused and has something in mind that she wants to like attend to. So she would probably wait until like the evening or something to ask. Okay. Okay. And Garnet, were you heading back down onto the crypts where you study with Master Elna to stash your stuff? Yeah, I was going to go stash it. Like there's probably like a ton of books everywhere. So mm -hmm. it's probably like strategically just hiding things under things behind things and mm -hmm. stuff uh, in there. do you have records of like what stuff is hidden there versus on your person uh well i have tarsal moore's notes the serving mm -hmm. mortals cookbook um and the flasks that i have of darkness and liquid pain mm -hmm. in the inky book i would just hide all in there. Okay. What the uh, fuck is that? <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you're what you're referring to here. Um, I don't know. Uh, oddly, when you get down there, you are not alone. Well, I'm at a it resembles a pile of debris and scrap upon the ground, but as you enter your chamber. It reveals a large insectoid form built from metal and scraps with smoke rising between the plates of its chitinous hide. Its many orange yellow lights shine like dim lanterns and reveal no hint of expression or intent. It towers over you. Pistons, mechanical armatures, furnaces within. So I'm just opening the door to this gigantic mechanical insect we are prepared to discuss your plan jesus christ do you not take appointments i have some studying to do we are prepared to listen to your plan now you are isolated from the others this time this place will suffice uh, closes the door 
behind her. It just hit 10 subs, so oh, no, it's broken. The machine is broken. No, what is Why that? Why does this I'm always sure. happen? <laughs> You need oh. to still reduce my drop rate on this. Revenge! Please. Revenge! <laughs> we'll deal Dude, with them in a moment. Broken. We'll deal with them in a moment. They're not going to interrupt <laughs> this. I don't. I don't know. I. I'm going to pull them out. Okay. Note to self: pull the pixies out of the AOG pool for the love of everything. Not that it isn't thematically appropriate for the whole fairy <laughs> games thing going on, but yeah, we're pulling that out. Anyways. Uh, we need Ramius ones. Almost cards <laughs> commissioned for nothing. Fun fact, we pulled a Ramius card in Curse of Tamrian, but that takes place after Ramius' ascension to Overlord of the Underworld. Uh, so the, it's the, not the new Ramius cards that we commissioned, so we still haven't pulled those. Anyways, the great uh, this clockwork abomination is prepared to hear you as you close the door behind you. Uh, did Una maybe while she was with or while they were with me like detect anyone following us or mm -mm. anything like that? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm exhausted. I'm out of spells. I don't have time for this. Irrelevant. Now is the time. Now is the place. It will be discussed. All right. Listen. You're asking me we're to murder one of the most powerful mages here, right? Well, the way to get out of this, or to maybe make this foolproof, is to eliminate the judge, to be the jury, to own the school. And I'm helping Al now get into a position where this can all be swept under the rug. So if you were to just let me do my business, we've IELTS is already gone. L now just needs to be put in that position, and if something happens soon to Mahler, then the investigation can be just canceled. So this makes it a foolproof plan, even if we mess up. Plus, you're trusting like a fifth year or whatever year I am. Uh, you're trusting a freaking <laughs> level four Teenager. to do this. <laughs> you eradicated a hag. You destroyed Boreas, son of the Sky Father, your capabilities are not to be understated. What you have described is not a plan, it is a condition for a plan. There is a plan. It's called setting up the pins, right? It's like bowling. We're setting up the pins. Then I'm identify the plan. You have stated the conditions under which the plan must occur. Do you or do you not have a plan? do have a plan. We Specify. Have the, void sphere. the void sphere is more than enough. If it dealt with Boreas, it'll deal with the horseman. Under what conditions are you capable of controlling the void sphere? I don't need to control it. I didn't control it when I was killing Boreas. I just pulled him into it. Which is what happened because I was on the other side of Boreas and then I was trying to control the sphere and I couldn't and it pulled towards me and ate Boreas. I also yeeted people with my tentacles into the sphere <laughs> before. This is the framework of a plan. Continue well, to hone it. Well, I need to set up the fact that I won't get in trouble for this and I won't get counter murdered. If I can get into Mahler alone and no one missing that he's gone, then the plan is foolproof, but it won't matter how I do it. The plan is not foolproof. Untramaller is also not to be underestimated. This is the framework of a plan. Continue to elaborate on it. This vessel will be available, if required, to assist with the execution. You? This vessel. The thing towers well, above you. You're not very subtle. What do you <laughs> I Oh now's gonna I... come in for a midnight session like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> well it's not midnight, it's before dinner. <laughs> well uh how can I call upon you? Do I just say your name or is there another way I can reach you? Invoke us by name. If you develop an additional contingency, we will consider it. And have you been it has Quan been investigated at all by the sage? 
Quan's involvement is limited. You have been given inspiration by chat, by the way, Ooh, from stream loots. Also, Anachronist has disadvantage. <laughs> I haven't rolled a dice for him yet, but he has disadvantage. You guys are asking me to just ball on this guy, but I have no spell spot, so... <laughs> I cast Twilight Tendril. I cast Twilight Tendril. I cast, I cast Twilight, Twilight Tendril. <laughs> Do not worry about the designer child. Well, if he's being investigated, then your presence could be known here, and and then the plan could all be under more of a microscope. Which Our presence is, why is withdrawn from Quan to avoid this suspicion. Withdrawn, really? Doesn't he need you for his powers? Does he need a warlock? Do not concern yourself with his affairs. Concern yourself with the Unterwalder. Well, I need to know about all my liabilities that could be foiling my plan. There is nothing to connect us as long as you can trust your friends. Juan is unaware of our communication. He cannot link back to you. About those friends, um, what is your relationship with the serpent? The serpent is a source of information. The serpent's secrets are incorporated into the design. And what do you give him in return? We perform functions that satisfy the serpent's curiosity for knowledge. Is this about the souls and, and stuff like that? The souls that Tarselmore wants to know about to preserve or use? Tarselmore's curiosity was partially sated in order to further his adherence to the design. What's Tarselmore's role in the design? He has a contingency. If you cannot deliver, we will deploy him. And if I take care of him tomorrow, then Tarsal Mora isn't involved? Then he will not be required in this aspect of the design. There is still more to be done. Well, if he's... Tarsal Mora is just a soul, then what, are you going to put him in a robot? Is that going to deploy a bunch of robots? If you fulfill your end of the bargain, you will not need to find out. Well, what if I could work with him or use him to help me with him tomorrow? Clearly, I'm not enough just to go one-on-one -on -one if I don't have perfect control of the sphere, right? We encourage you to speak with him. Really? You want me to go talk to Tarsal more? The guy who's murdered a bunch of students for being in his business? You want me you to go do that? You have navigated dangerous entities in the past. If you wish to ally yourself with Tarsal Moore, it will come at a cost. We will advocate on your behalf. Oh, I got the vouch. Okay. Uh, so do you need a time limit or can we stick to my plan in the first place? You have the framework of a plan. We will accommodate this framework for the time being. Continue to hone this plan. You require every possible advantage against the Undermuller. Well, I need you to keep the serpent out of my business then, because he he, sh he and his vessel are, are sniffing around and now casting spells on me. So we're just kind of sabotaging each other when we're on the same team, apparently. We will consider it. Well, you do it, or I might frag the serpent's vessel, and then we're all going to be mad at each other, and we're going to get away from the framework of the plan. Terminating the serpent's vessel would be deleterious to your own survival. It would add complications to your own life that would not be to your advantage or your designs. We do not believe you will terminate the serpent's vessel. How is getting rid of the vessel bad for me? He's clearly a threat to all of this. We believe that murder of students would be a complication in your life. That is pretty based. That is pretty true. 
<laughs> Listen, I did say I was gonna do it. I never said that. All right. <laughs> See, if you successfully you. terminate the serpent's vessel without discovery, it will serve as excellent practice for your elimination of Untermaler. Hmm, if you right. fail, then it may remove your value as an asset, in which case we will deploy Tarsalor in your place. Okay. Destroying the serpent's vessel will introduce additional variables into your life. Like what? Murdering students is a complicated affair. You will have murdered a student. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> well, uh, can I get to studying? I'm trying to look for something, looking for Miric, which is something the serpent helped me with and not you, by the way. We will withdraw. Continue your studies. And the pile of debris, the clockwork abomination sort of crumbles back into a pile of just pieces. It looks like a pile of debris and random crap in the corner. Just spare parts and scrap. Just kicks the metal to the Bang. side. <laughs> and you know, is continuing to hide the stuff and is going to uh, look through the void book for the next time being through to look for the mm -hmm. silent city. In the void book. Mm, okay. Uh, first off, please note that you can call this clockwork abomination by invoking Anachronus. It will not obey you. It will obey Anachronus. So you better hope that when you call it, whatever you're doing is conducive to the design. But yeah, keep that in mind. That streamless card is going to be floating over your head until it's activated. Otherwise, you're looking for information about the Silent City, right? I'm going to briefly peruse the rest of the team to see what they're doing. And then are you going to be going up to dinner afterwards or no? No. All right. Dinner. You're just going to be you're going to be staying here till midnight till you study with Master L now? Yeah. All right. Then I'm going to visit the rest of the party and see what they're doing until or at dinner because Garnet's going to be in the books for a long, long time. Garnet, you have that inspiration from chat. Why don't you roll an Arcana check for me? And if you'd like to burn that advantage to or history to research the Silent City. But I'll give you your results after we've checked in with everybody else. I'll roll it later then. All right, then hold on to that. Uh, Renan, Athalor, Ariana, any scenes that you would like to portray before, during, or after dinner? Mm, can't think of any. Well, I think, or I mean, Renan would do some, or have a question for I guess Zethius. Mm -hmm. Quick. Okay. Um, What'll it be? Yeah. I, I think in kind of putting the Zethian texts away, that there's like a whole like cipher you said to it, right? So it's like hard to kind mm -hmm. of uh, figure out what it says. I think Renan would be like, hmm, these um seem related to you do you mind assisting or i mean i'll, I'll figure it out anyway it'll just take more time what knowledge do you seek oh that's a good question. I probably should have thought about that. I just thought like this thing would just like have knowledge, then I would read it, and then I would learn. These um, are my riddles, my teachings, oh. my tests. Few understand. I speak in code and symbol and parable and cipher so that only the wisest the most useful can comprehend the truth of reality and become useful to me. To them, these are the gates of knowledge. You require no such paltry scripture. Oh, I see. Being useful, that sounds good. Being wise, yeah. But yes. Okay. Existence is a cage and knowledge is the key. Hmm. I see. You didn't really learn anything down there in the vaults that you didn't already know, right? It wasn't beneficial for you. Xetheus does not immediately respond. Hmm. 
Mm. Renan just like, <clears throat> excuse me, Renan just like nods to himself, kind of slight dejected look. <laughs> uh, starting to put his papers away. All right. All right. Got slapped by dad. Sad. Uh, was there anything else from Renan? No, just get ready for dinner, I suppose. All right. Uh, everybody gathers at dinner. It's a three-day weekend. The Bronthans and those who celebrate the Zaylorian faith uh, have already sort of begun getting ready in advance. Uh, today, they... No, no, no. The, tomorrow. Because today's the sixth day of the week. So we have the last day of the week, then the holiday, then the first day of the next week. So their preparations and such begin tomorrow. So they are fasting tonight. The Zaylorians are fasting in preparation. Oh. I don't need to eat. <laughs> you want to come in to dinner anyway. Fasting while you were still in diapers. Uh, so the three of you are able to have dinner. Uh, you know, you've got Renobi over there and Cryus over there, worriedly munching, reading, going through stuff. Um, would love to know if you've learned anything about helping. Um, he glances over at Renan, our uh, friend of a friend. Friend of a friend, friend of a friend. The, the, the whole mirror business. Uh, Darcelmore was into that magic. He was delving into that stuff and was behind a lot of the replacements that happened. So if anyone knows that mirror had his runes and Ioth's runes on it. So if anybody knows about that nonsense, it'd be him. Did you learn anything we could use to help her? Uh, did we? Is this a hushed conversation or? Hushed conversation with the lot of you. Sans Garnet, who is not here. I found some scrolls of mirror magic. Can I see them? Well, it depends, Cryas. Are you willing to have your hands on contraband? Well, I made a promise, and do you, have, with, do you have a way of storing them? Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, I can, I can, I can keep it safe. I can, I can trust Ned. I can trust Ned. I'm sure I can trust Ned. Okay. All right. I'm sure that you'll be able to uh, get some usage out of looking at them, right? Absolutely. Yes. I. Magic like this is what made me who I am today. If anyone can understand it, I can. You can count on me. Okay. Yeah. Insight. Just see, like, how actually sure, like, Cryos is about, like, being able to figure this stuff out. Huh? Yeah, go ahead and roll. Sure. Eh, 11. All right. Uh, he seems... You don't know if he's confident, but he's determined. Okay. I believe in you, Chris. You can do this. Mm, he, he looks at Renan, still not sure what to make of them, but nods. He'll take it. He'll take it. Praise from an Elfar. Okay. Uh, are you turning over all the mirror magic stuff over? No, no, no. What are you giving him? Well, uh, you need to detail to me more than mirror magic scrolls. So. Right. I'll give you an inventory. And besides, it's not on you. It's in the bag of holding. Well, is the yeah. bag of holding on you? No. Right, yeah, I'm not tracking enough treasure around. <laughs> Hi guys, look what I brought for dessert. Okay, Cryus wants the mirror magic stuff. I'll give you an inventory of that. Cool, I'm not um, going to decide what he gets and when. Yeah, dole that out bit by bit. Uh, was there anything else at dinner for the lot of you? No, not at dinner. All right, afterwards I know that Ariana had some something that she wanted to take care of. do um i guess I'm trying to think about how to play this out um i guess we'd be there like walking back or something and then she would kind of like tap athlor on the shoulder and be like hey remember that thing i wanted to show you yes uh, about uh history and tactics of battle of warfare uh, well yeah yeah i wanted to show you the book awesome let's have a look i, I love a good book I can tell. You kind of took like 10 out of the vault. I like reading. 
that's nice. <laughs> I don't. But I thought you'd find this one interesting. And, and so she'd like, I guess, like take Athelor back up to like their room um, mm -hmm. and like kind of like take it out from like under the, the bed, and, like plop it on the bed, <laughs> show him like, yeah, this. Oh my God. Is that a book from the Destroyer? I... That's like hyper forbidden. Well, like yeah, I, I apparently it's uh his guide and tactic to warfare. Oh yeah. wow, to be very Hello. useful for my elective. Yeah, I thought you could use that, and uh, I also noticed that you were taking a lot of books that had something to do with infernals. So I thought you might like this one too. Thank you, Ariana. That's mm -hmm. that's awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. Athlor casts minor illusion on the book and makes it just like a regular leather-bound evocation book. All right. Now keep in mind that Mark. that spell is not permanent, but it'll work whenever you've got it out and about, or when you're concentrating on it, or for the duration, whatever. Not long enough to get it back into Athlor's ring without him going, "Oh, look at what I." Have. Yes. <laughs> yes, that will work. If it isn't hyper, it goes straight in the bag of folding. Okay. That is a bag of mass destruction. <laughs> there is a lot right. of fucking incriminating shit. So Athelor uh, goes ahead and takes his leave from there, leaving Ariana in the room alone? Mm-hmm. Unless she wanted to talk about anything afterwards. Don't think so. Okay. All right. Evening falls. The weekend, the long weekend, is about to be upon our characters. Did anybody have anything they needed to tend to before we returned to Garnet and her research into the Seven Gates of the Silent City? Yeah, Athelor's, uh, Athelor's brain is a whirring right now. Mm -hmm. And he is looking at the Talsamorian notes about soul energy in the same vein as dawn energy. Okay. And All right. he's going to try and experiment with this. Okay. Uh, this is going to be sort of a long-term project, not something that you'll be able to do just like immediately um but it is something well, you can we'll start see. working on all right what do you have in mind here <laughs> what do you have in mind here uh athol is going to put down the uh jug of soul goo mm -hmm. and what he's going to try and do is dip isle's quill in it and then write in soul goo the isle throne for wind <laughs> I like that face. That means that I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Is shit about to get shit's about to go very wrong. Um <laughs> Okay. Um Okay. Uh Is I also about to come out of the goo? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I... <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> that, that's the face of cliffhanger. <sighs> oh my! An unearthly gust tears about the chamber. Is Renin home? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, you wrote the. Where did you write the rune for wind? Just up in the air. Okay. Uh, it, this is the gust cantrip in terms of like how he's visualizing the mm -hmm. spell matrix. Okay, yeah. Uh, the gust tears around you, but the wind is cold and it's filled with murmuring voices and little sparks of emotion. Your skin crawls, a chill runs up your spine and little fleeting moments, memories of gusts of wind and breezes fragmentary experiences carry with this gust of wind that blows through your chamber. Is it noticeably stronger than your usual gust cantrip, as well as the... It is not noticeably stronger. It has the after effect. Mm -hmm. Does it like blow like papers around or anything? Yes. Like, does it has a... it oh, blows, yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Red's probably reading something, but just like it's scooped up and all around the. It's, uh, Sorry. Oh, what? Sorry. I, what, I, what? Okay. 
Well, okay. well, you know, hold up. Give me one second here. I got to look at the gust cantrip. <laughs> it blows. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can I get a disadvantage in chat, please? Disadvantage in chat, thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it definitely feels colder and it feels stronger, but mechanically, nothing specifically different happens. Mm hmm. Oh, well. That's interesting. Le learning new magic or, or something? I, uh, well, might be inventing new magic in a way. Oh, you're, oh, you're doing that stuff. Oh, I see. And it worked. Oh, magical things happened. Magical things did happen. Is that what you meant to have happen? Yes. Oh, try something else. I, I feel like other things would be like very dangerous. Um, I will point I out that Tarsamore Hall before. has areas dedicated to experimentation and spell casting that have wards on them. The only issue is being seen with a jug of soul goo with, and Ioth's <laughs> quill. Uh, yeah, because there are like places where students are allowed to practice spells and are insulated. Contraband is the only problem. Hey, I read something about that. I'm going to close. Like, that, that, okay. Go ahead. That, that hasn't stopped you before doing dangerous things. Just, just do another one. Uh, maybe I could put a minor illusion on this to make it look like water. And we could go into into the maze, uh, just find ourselves a little corner there using the knife, and then yeah. have a little bit of an experiment with this, have a little bit of a mess around. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds sounds good. Fascinating. Great. Let's do it. Fast forward? Oh, uh, well, DM approval. Biddly diddly dee. Yeah, you can go ahead and, and make your way down to the, carrying kind of the sloshing jar. Yep, just me and my water going down to the maze of illusions. And you okay. uh, return, slip and slide, are off causing havoc on somebody. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess here goes nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Good luck. Yeah. And Athol's going to look in his cheap book of Iothian runes and kind of just cross-reference them with Renin to see that what he's saying is correct. And then have the quill once again float up, write a brand new rune. It says arms, and he's going to try and form the spell matrix of arms of Hadar shooting out of him in every direction, but aside from Renin. Okay. Are you doing this purely with the quill and the soul flask substance? Is that the only source of energy you're using for this? I think Athol's experimenting to see if he doesn't have to tap into his own wellspring, mm -hmm. but can kind of have the source of power be from the rune that's created, mm -hmm. and then generate the spell matrix in his mind from mm -hmm. the rune. Okay. Are you proficient in calligraphy tools? I forget. No. You might have mentioned that I'm getting close to it when I was writing this book. Oh, no, no, no. I got proficiency in Ioth's runes as a language. Right. Okay. Roll for me. An Arcana check, please. With advantage, because you got uh, Renin's Eyes of the Rune Keeper to help. Thank God for advantage. If it's still not great. <laughs> Wait, 12. Codex die. You want to throw the Codex die in on that? Okay. Yeah, I'm putting in the Codex die. Might as well. <laughs> Fuck it. No fog. Okay, a 13. Uh, and, okay, so, the energy courses through the spell matrix that you have woven. Again, intermingled with the muffled screams, groans, and far-off cries of fragments of souls. As the spell spreads, the it hangs in the air for a moment, and then the spell matrix kicks in. And you do indeed cast Arms of Hadar. It is as cold as ever, but with this whispering background of soul fragments. And it drains none of your energy, but it does take a noticeable amount from the flask that once the spell is cast, evaporates. It's energy expended. Oh, you did it. Oh, damn. You, you did it, right? Everything went, went went right? It looked like it I, went right. Did it go I right? I mean, yeah, vaguely right. It, it mm -hmm. drained 
liquid, the, the soul goo from the flask. It's, but it didn't take any power out of me. I still feel as powered up with magic as before. Is that so what this you're is like an external fuel. Uh, are you going to keep calling it soul goo? I, I just feel like that's a little <laughs> weird. W would, would you like to suggest an alternate? Oh, I hadn't got that far yet. Um, Glow fuel? I'll, I'll, I'll workshop it, you know, I just, I don't... Anyways, um, but yeah, it, 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 it worked. And you didn't use your own magic? Which... Wait. Could you, with this, do things that you wouldn't, like, normally... Were you actually able to do the other things first, or no? Yeah, like, I, could oh. do, I could do those before. They're, they're just oh. small matrices I know. So I figured, let's oh, yeah. start normally with things I can usually do, and then maybe yeah. we'll get a bit more wild. Yeah, wild. Like things maybe you wouldn't be able to normally do. Maybe, potentially, hopefully. Hopefully. I feel like we might need it over the coming years. Yeah. Oh, I mean... Okay. There's like a lot of that back in the, the, the vault, right? So even if you use all this up, you could just go get more. Um, I can't imagine how much power would be in there if Tatsumo was able to wield it. Oh. That's so much fuel. That's a lot. That's a lot. He could probably destroy the school. Definitely, yeah. Seeing as no one's really going to be able to stop him, right? I don't even know how deep it is. I don't know. Oh, I really hope that he does not wake up or leave his weird yeah. game of death. You still think we shouldn't do anything about that? You know? Yeah. Well, when you know how to kill Tarsamor, we'll go do it. Well, uh, okay. All right. I also think that it's probably best that he not exist here, but mm -hmm. I'm 15. Me too, I think. That's how I was El like, oh. Elves. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how far this can go. Yeah, me too. We should get this back ASAP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just illusion thingy and then, yeah. Diddly diddly do. <laughs> All right, uh, Ariana, anything else from you after work? Are you just studying, doing homework, eating snacks, hanging out? Sounds like a typical day is Ariana. Okay, typical Friday night. Um, <laughs> Garnet, you are staying down in the crypt next to the pile of wreckage uh, that came to life as a clockwork abomination and uh, reading the Book of Seosh, the Book of the Spiral, and you're looking for information about the Silent City. Is there anything specific you're trying to get out of it? How to get to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Roll an Arcana check, please. And you've got a few things in your court insofar as inspiration is concerned. Also, anyone who tastes the soul goo gets inspiration. That's still floating out there. Oh, um, would I have also gotten a short rest because I skipped dinner to kind of- You can take a short rest if you'd like, yes. Yay, spells. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Arcana, okay. Okay. Uh, 16. Are you satisfied with that, or do you want to cash in one of your stream loot's inspirations that has been played? Yeah, let's... Not if I can do it. Okay, we'll send it's it. Not much better. A 14. No, it's not better at all. Unlucky. Uh, oh, do I have any Arcana? Wait, what diet? Use Arcana? your Codex die. Is Codex Arcana? I think it's Arcana and mostly just nerd stuff. Lady <laughs> Luck, fortune favors a fool. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, the power of the laughing god has been deployed. There are three lucky dice on the table for our party. Uh, currently just floating around, but anyone who does anything particularly foolish is especially eligible for those. So Garnet, three <laughs> lucky dice on the table. You want to cash that thing in? Can I have? Is the party mind? I yeah, you one? can have one. 
Like, you and I have lucky dice to begin with anyway, so we should probably give them to Renan and Ariana. <laughs> you eked out a 17, the Silent City. It exists within Anakra, yet it dwells within none of the four kingdoms. It can only be accessed by strange paths into places where you would not know to look, or by those who already know how to get there. Shadow is one such path. There's actually a higher level Shadowcaster spell you will eventually unlock that can take you there. Oh, is that like a transportation to different planes type of spell? Or is that, mm -hmm. you know, ticket to Silent City? <laughs> so, I cast a level five, go to Silent City now, please. <laughs> uh, no, it is, where's the Shadow Caster? I was just looking at this the other day for Miric related reasons. Like Dimension Door fucking... Uh, it's higher level than that. Ew. Where the heck is the Shadow Caster? I was just looking at this. There it is. All right. Uh, so shadows, the plane of shadow isn't really a thing. It's more like one of the odd places between worlds. Uh, there's like liminal space between the mortal world and the other world that isn't properly defined. Most people just pass straight through it. But shadow casters exist in the boundaries and they have the magic necessary to access such places. So what is this spell called? And what level is it? Because that'll tell you how many levels you'll need before you can get it the legit way. Curtain of Gloom, Dancing Shroud, Dusk and Dawn, Eclipse Arcane, Eldritch Twilight, Ephemeral Storm, Farsight, Infinite Mirror, Hypnotic Shade, Investiture of Shadow, Prison of Night. Pass into Shadow. It's a level six Shadowcaster spell which means that it can't be unlocked until you're like 11th level or so. Okay, hear me out. But what about learning it and fucking trying it? Just trying <laughs> not. It sounds like some dumb shit. Okay, it's like so, a level of desperation. I'm just Okay, so let's how. let's talk about what's required to cast a higher level spell, right? Um there's a four-step process to creating to casting a spell. You learn this in your first year. First, you have to tap into a source of energy. You have to open that connection to your source of magic. Then, you have to accumulate that magic in a vessel. And most of the time, that vessel is your own mind, body, and soul, which is why you practice meditation and mental exercises to expand your capacity to hold all that power. However, sometimes, for particularly complicated spells, you use an external matrix. Uh, that's what spell components are for. That's what spell focus items are for. They expand the vessel. They either expand your spell matrix because the third part is to take all that energy and weave it into a spell matrix. So those external items either serve to as anchor points and variables to form the complicated program that you're building, or they can serve to expand that vessel. So your problem as a level four character is that you cannot, under normal circumstances, accumulate enough power, safely control that much power, and your mind, body, and soul cannot yet hold a complex spell matrix of that magnitude. So what would you need in order to do that? You would need access to more power, the capacity to hold all that power safely, and the capacity to build a really complex spell matrix. There are a few ways to do that already. I'm wondering if you've thought of something already. And if not, I can explain. Uh, the vessel part or the any, matrix any part? Any of them. Any of them. I think we just found a really, really powerful tool. just find a lot of it. Energy. And that was supposed to be a lot harder for you to figure out how to prep. Like, remember when I said, oh, yeah, this is a research project, Athlor. You're going to need to wait forever. But then I forgot that I gave you <laughs> in quill. <laughs> I just fucking dipped that shit. Dip, dip, potato <laughs> chip. I don't mean to derail Lemon's thing here, but is mm -hmm. Eye of Squirrel currently my spellcasting focus? Uh, it can be. Cool. Yeah, you want to just whip that out in front of the... Hey, guys! <laughs> uh, uh, he also he also has a wand, but I'm just wondering if it counts as spellcasting yeah, focus. Yeah, it can be used Carry as a spellcasting focus. So you need a lot of energy. And again, right, so the th other thing about students is that, sure, you can tap into energy, but you can only hold so much at once. Like... You, Garnet, you know how to open the pathway to shadow within your own soul by emptying yourself and becoming void, right? But, and you've tapped into more power before when you created a, a freaking sphere of annihilation, but you couldn't yeah, control it. 
when it when it manifested. Also, the sphere of annihilation is void energy, and so it just like eats energy. It's not a source of power; it's a power sink. Void. That's one of the weird things about shadow magic is that liminal space between things. But void magic is like antimatter, antimagic draining instead. So if you need to do void magic nonsense, yeah, the sphere will help. But you need to do shadow magic nonsense. So you need a lot of power, the ability to contain all that power, not lose control of it, and form it into a complicated matrix that is outside of your ability to hold in your own brain right now. So probably just give up and be like, oh, I can't do this and ask Elle now about it. Or mm -hmm. like ask her to basically do it or how to do it <laughs> when she comes around. Do it, mommy. <laughs> basically okay um did anybody else have anything or did you want to talk about that with el now tonight uh tonight if possible okay uh she shows she up down. she's gonna go through your normal training and such and how are you phrasing this to her um probably when she walks in though she i darn it is going through the void book and mm. ignoring her a lot Probably just didn't even notice her come in. It's more of like a didn't notice her come in and is very focused on the Silent mm -hmm. City stuff. Not being shunned, more just absorbed. And she does not look well because she's been mm -hmm. doing this for X amount of hours straight. <laughs> All right. I'll now we'll wait a moment, just kind of see if you notice that she's there or not. And when you don't, she'll say, don't overdose on that stuff, Garnet. It's a lot... Oh. It's a lot to handle. Uh, and kind of like closes the book. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a heavy conversation to have with three minutes left. Should I delay this? For I was session? totally going to use this as our cliffhanger. Okay, okay. I was just like, didn't want to like <laughs> trauma dump no, on L now and be like, see you next time. <laughs> Honestly, you can do the trauma dump. Like, okay, you've called attention to it now because you're a conscientious member of the team, which I appreciate. This is why I work with pros. Okay. Um, but yeah, g give me give me a cool one-liner question to drop on her and we'll leave it off on that. Okay. She probably is very uh, still upset about mm -hmm. the conversation we had with, she had with Renan and just... You know, him mentioning Alex, hearing about the Herald and not having a clear idea what that's about, to basically hearing that M Merrick was using her as like a tool or a weapon. And she just kind of looks at Elle now, which is not like tears, but just like a weird glaring emotion of just, I'm not a tool. I'm not a weapon. I am an avatar, and I will learn everything in this fucking book to kill every infernal here. But unfortunately, I can't do this all myself right now. I can't. I've tried to keep this all hidden away from you so you could just not have to deal with it so the blood wouldn't be on your hands. But I, I can't handle this all on my own. I could deal with one, but not... Two infernals and a fucking former archmage in the basement. I can't do this alone, hell no. I can't do it anymore. Elle now stares. She gets that the what face for a moment. Several times as you talk about killing infernals and an archmage in the basement. But as you get to the end of it, she will focus herself. Sit down next to you. Wrap one of her wings over you, folds around you. And gently says, tell me everything. And that's where we'll leave it for tonight. Thank you, all of you, for joining us on our adventures at the Greatest Institute of Magical Learning in the Four Kingdoms. Be sure to join us next week as we continue to plod one day at a time through year five. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Only 10 more episodes. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Night all. <laughs>